Hello guys, welcome to one of my first videos that I've really put together here. This one's regarding Sky Factory 4. Just came out probably a few days ago. And this is Cinderus. This is my alias. This is my character. I've had the same skin for a long time. However, what we're doing today is for all you people that are playing Sky Factory 4 and trying to automate their bonsai trees. Not quite sure what the best approach would be. Well, I have my favorite approach because I love integrated dynamics. They're so fast. Uh, integrated dynamics and the integrated tunnels that are kind of built in together. They work well together. They can do a lot. Probably the most in-depth piping system that I've ever came across in this game. And you might think, why do you need something so complicated to for your bonsai trees? Well, obviously you want to make your resources out of the resin and the acorns, right? And you've probably tried sticking them in a, a packager and it does wonders. But how do you automate that without clogging up your packager with acorns? Because you produce more acorns than you do resin. So if you start pumping them in at the same rate, you'll eventually run out of resin and, and, unless you have an infinite supply and you're generating more than you can actually turn into a resource but that was my big problem when i started to automate these bonsai trees into their corresponding resource was it have a bunch of acorns stuck in my system and then everything would stop so now i have a system where in this dirt system here it tries to keep 32 acorns in there as well as 32 dirt resin and it's just going to keep pumping them in there unless there's already enough in there sometimes there's such a vast amount of items being pumped in it's going so fast that sometimes the numbers get a little mixed up that's what i've noticed but it keeps it from getting clogged as you can see it just another one just came in there and i've got tons of acorns i got 25 stacks of acorns there and none of them are, none of them are being pumped into the machine so it's not clogged it's open for resin that's what i made here the hardest thing is the, the actual logic, the variables that you have to program to make it happen. And in order to do that, you need to get a logic programmer. So make sure you build one of these things that lets you do a whole bunch of fancy stuff, which I've only barely touched the waters on. And I'm sure there's probably a way more efficient way that you can do this. But this works. And I'm going to finish my base doing this method. Well, not my base, but... The trees that I need resources packaged from, I'm not going to do that stuff manually. I want to get it automated. So let's build one real quick. And I'll show you the guys, the variables you need to make it happen. All right. So we're just going to make a little small platform here to get us going. And uh, we need a torch. Let me grab a torch. Okay. Torch. And we're going to need piping. And we're going to need importers. So these are item importers and these are logic cables, if you're not aware. And what we're going to do now is we already have sand and dirt. Let's get gravel. Where is our gravel? It's clay, sand, gravel. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to be very careful here and we're going to pick up the gravel acorn and we're going to pick up the gravel resin. Hopefully it doesn't fall off the map. Okay. Okay. So we're going to put the acorn. Whoop. We're going to put the acorn. No. Gosh darn it. Unlockers. Okay. All right. There's the acorn. Yep. There's the resin. And now we need a packager in the middle. This is what's going to combine those two resources into gravel. And we're going to get an item. Du -du -du -du. Item importer, item interface, inventory reader, okay. Okay, and then 
so that we can actually work around this packager and see what's inside of it, we'll need a reader. It's called an inventory reader. We're going to stick it right there on the packager. And then we're going to get our pipes back out. And now you want to make sure that you don't, when you connect uh, the next part, I'll explain here in a second. Let me get it going here first. Where's my variable store? Okay, so we need a variable store. This is what stores the logic behind your pipe system. Without this, your pipes wouldn't know what to do because you're going to store a lot of information in this block. And so that we can connect it to the reader and to this network, we'll go here. And you want to make sure that you close off these pipes here, as you can see, they connect to the main network. And let me give you a little heads up. So this top pipe that you see up there, the, the bonsai trees are on top of, and they lead off to this chest here and this battery. This battery is just temporary. It's just there to give it some power. Is This top line is basically one network that's going to manage the power and the main flow of items throughout most of my base. All right. So they're, they're a separate network from this new one we just made here. This one down here that has the variable store on it. That's not connected at all to that network. And we don't plan to get it connected. They're two separate networks. And we that's how I have this set up. And it works great. So let's finish off the rest of this. And then we'll make the variables. Let's get up top. Try not to eat up too much of your time here. All right, so we got to get the interface, interface, pipe, pipe. And then we need a chest on top for, oh, one major thing I forgot to remind you guys is that you've got to definitely lock these because if you run out of those resources, it's going to, the net, the top network's going to try to fill it up with something random like sticks or anything that's flowing through those top pipes. Think of it like a, think of your items like electricity. They're just going to spread to wherever they can. Unless you've got the right corresponding settings, they're going to go to wherever it can fit. So make sure you lock that in case they run out of, in case you ever run out of resin or acorns. Okay. Now let's get it connected to the power energy interface. Oh, we need an energy exporter. Energy exporter. This is my survival world, but I did spawn in a few items just to show this off. There, now it's connected to the power just like this over here. And we're going to make sure it's active. You have to make sure you've got a variable card, which is a blank variable card. It's, a, it's just a Boolean. It just says it's true, basically has no programming on it whatsoever and it's going to make sure that this thing gets energy which from my experience you don't see any energy go in there until you actually start putting items in there it's it's a, it's a weird machine but it works all right so we've got that and we are pretty much all set and now we just got to get the the top area so let's grab let's grab uh, the gravel tree and move it up there. Okay, we're going to put the chest down. And then we are going to jump on top of it and we're going to put the bonsai tree, the mulch, and the sapling up here. There we go. Now the gravel tree is growing and it's going to dump items in here. And we're going to need to... Oh, we do need to get two more importers down. I... You know what? I'm going to get a little platform here. Okay. Huh. Oh, damn. Let me... I just need to sprint. Do I have mithril berries anywhere? All right. Let me eat these real quick. Stand by. Now we can sprint. Okay, so now we get over here, we climb up here, 
and we are going to put in the item importer we're going to put one right there and right here so we have that locked that's good see it's getting flint and leaves and it's going to get sticks but the gravel acorns and the gravel resin are going to get pumped into these two chests but for us to make that happen we have to tell it to import all items so there we go it's in the network those went down there and we should see up over here the exit chest this is my exit chest and I've already got two other trees there so it's about to get clogged up so let me just toss out some of these trees so we can get some more testing done one thing I have too much in this mod pack so far is a whole bunch of wood it's just clogged my whole my first my first automation which was more just more like a storage efficiency thing it was a lot of walking it didn't work well and it just clogged with a lot of wood and all my chests and I just didn't feel like keep I didn't want to keep upgrading chests and all that jazz so I'm revamping but that's the network oh sorry for getting sidetracked there guys I gotta get into the logic of this here so if I was to show you now, if I was to turn this machine on, you'd see that it would get filled up with acorns. And it's a pain in the ass to clear up, so I'm not going to turn on the machines right now. Oh, but we will need, for when these things get made, we do have to turn on that importer, because when there's going to be gravel being made in here, and then it's going to get sucked up back into the main network okay so let's make the variables now so we're gonna come back and s stuff a whole bunch of stuff in there but for now the first important thing we have to do is we have to access this inventory reader and we're trying to figure out exactly what items are in this chest and right now there's no items in there so that's it, nothing even if there was anything in there it's not going to ruin your variable card what that card does is simply it's a variable that says what items are in this chest that it's reading. And we're gonna also, we need one acorn and we need one resin. And we need to go over to our logic programmer. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna code those items into variables. So we take the acorn, variable, programmed. And as you can see, gravel acorn. And we're going to do the same thing with resin. So we got resin and we got acorn. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to item, but no, I'm sorry, count. And we're going to look up item list count. And what we're going to ask this is we're going to be like this inventory, what items in this inventory? Oops. And then what items are in this inventory called an acorn tell me how many are in there so this is going to access that tell me how many acorns are in there and it's going to spit me back a number of how many acorns Whoops, we got that over there. so this is they're really hard to kind of like mentally remember what they are so you kind of got to like be a little bit neat about it just try to get through it as smoothly as possible and Hopefully you don't get frustrated like I did for a few hours. Like I had so many variable cards all over the place. Anyways, before I get you too distracted here, we now have a variable that asks us how much of these acorns are in that chest. And you ask, what do we do with that? Well, first we need some math. We need a number and we're going to do 32 because that's that's what I did the dirt and I haven't seen any issues with 32. We're just going to get 32 on a card integer 32 in a card so this number is how many items how many acorns are in the chest and then this one is <clears throat> just flat number 32 and what we're going to do with those two variables is we're going to do a less than so we'll take number of acorns in chest less than 32 it, and it makes a true or false a true or false variable card Bam, that's the big one. All right, so let's do the same thing. Item, count, 
uh, I always, it's just item list count, I'm sorry. We're gonna take chest, but instead of the acorn, we're gonna do resin. We're gonna bam, we're gonna make that into a logical, let's keep it over here so we don't get confused. Um, and then we need to do less than, and we're gonna use the same integer. So with less than, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna take the, re the resin number less than 32. If that's true, make a variable. Okay, so this is acorn and this is, this is our resin. So now we have to put, we have to go in here. And so this is our acorn and we're gonna put this acorn thing here and it's gonna give us an X because it's, it's basically, it needs these variables in a system in this variable sort of work. But we're gonna put in our two variables that we just put in the card that says, yes, it's, is it true or false that there's 32 or less in the chest, essentially. Easy peasy. And now, if we just throw in all these variables we just made into the store, boom, we got no red lights, we got checks here, and we should see Oh, uh, what? Uh, I didn't turn on. Oh. Oh, I see. What, I forgot the in, interface down here. Okay, I was like, what the? Sorry about that, guys. Interface required. Now it should be pumping into there. Is it? Yeah. Now you see, boom. It's working good, but the acorns still kind of get clogged up in there. That's like the best I can do. So, oh, you know what it is? Ah, I know what it is. So what you want to do is you want to go down here. Um, for speed, I'm just going to leave the system at it as is, and I'm going to check on it later, you know, as I automate, as this thing keeps going. It, it, if it does continue to get clogged with acorns, the solution I would look for would be inside the importer that brings out those import all items, instead of item the item transfer it, it's transferring 64 at a time. So if we were to change that to let's say, let's say 32, let's just do 32 instead of 64. Now it shouldn't be making multiple stacks in there, I don't believe. So let's try it out. Let's, let's get rid of all this stuff here. All right, so it's keeping 32 in there, nice. Let's get some gravel resin. Let's get a whole bunch of gravel resin and let's put it back in the machine. Boom, boom. Now, as you can see, it should keep nice. Okay, now it's a lot more. You just gotta mess around with these flow rates of the, because even though you have like the number set, you gotta make sure that the machine is sending in 64 at a time, so it's gonna make your numbers flawed. But if you can only send as many as it's looking at, then you're good to go. So. I should change that up on these ones too, but I'll do it later. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'm sure I'll have more content. I'm not sure what you guys would like to see more, more in-depth videos of how I automate things, or if you'd like to see some more. I I don't even know. I typically stream on Twitch under Cinderus. If you would like to watch me, I'm playing other games and stuff, but I do kind of chill in Minecraft for hours on end. Just chilling, doing the thing here, playing this world right now. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.